Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I will show you how you can import an affiliate product from Amazon to your WooCommerce store. To do this, you will need to install Chrome extension and connect it to your store. If you want to see how to do this, you can watch our previous video on this playlist. On this video, I will show you how you can customize and import product directly to your store. So once the extension is installed, so the extension is called Dropship and Affiliate for Amazon, you can find the link on the video description. Once it is installed, you can go to Amazon and you search for any product. Let's say you search for shoes, Adidas, for example, shoes for men. And then you can pick any product from the list here. Let's say I will choose this one. You will see that there will be a new button that will be displayed next to the title. So after the page loads, you will see this three button. This button is for single import, this button is for bulk import, and this is for configuration. So if you want to put your affiliate ID, you open this button, you come here, and you paste your affiliate ID here. And then you close. So then I click on this button, and I see this model here. So on this model, you have all the product details. So general section which have all the generic options, description, the gallery which contain the images, reviews, additional data and products. So we can just click on import to shop and the product should be available on our store in a few seconds. Let's wait for the import to be successful, it's fine. Then we go to products and then we have our product here that has been imported. We will open the product and see that all the details has been imported successfully. I will then remove the product and import it again with some new specification. As you can see here, all the details have been imported. Reviews, additional data, description, galleries, and all that stuff. So right now, I will remove this, this product in order to be able to import it again. And I will go back to Amazon import page here. So I will go to customize this product tab by tab and we'll explain to you how to do the customization process. So here you can put your price. Normally the price should be loaded. It's not the case for this price because maybe the price is not available. So let's say it's 200 euro and they want to sell it with the sale price for $100. This is the ASIN of the school, which is the identifier of this product. This is the custom title, so you can modify it. So Adidas men, okay, I can remove things here and I can add test keyboard or anything you want. Here is the product URL. So if you open this product URL, it's if you're not here, you see that you have your tag at the end. So if the user go to this link here and he buy the product, you will get your commission. So Amazon will pay you and you'll get your commission related to this uh, affiliate ID. Here is the button that we use to buy the product. You can just change to buy. This is the short description, which is the part that you see right here. So you can modify it as well. You can remove things. If you want to publish the product, you click on this. Otherwise, the product will be dropped. So it's here. So you want to publish the product. You want to set it as primary product, as feature product, sorry. And then I want to insert it to clothing category. Again, this customization tab is fine. I go to description, and here I can do a lot of things. So on my own, what I do normally is that I remove all description here, and I do it from the scratch. So I import the product details, specification. I format all of this. I change color, and the font I put on the space. I remove the extra things here. I write specification. I give it the header, heading one. I did not select it. Okay, I think it's already headed one. And then I move this one, and then I can maybe uh, import some variation images which are very high quality. So by clicking that button, I can see that uh, there are a lot of images that have been inserted. You can see from the from the scroll here that we have a lot of images. They are still loading. We will not have all of them. You will just copy some of them. For example, some good ones. Let's say we we'll copy this one, and we will paste it on the top for this section here. Okay. And then at the end I will just keep this three picture here. So I cut them and I remove the rest and I paste them again. So as a result I have this description. I can add, add a lot of other things. For example add short description on the bottom here. I can change the family, font family. And I can also add reviews images, which are very good also to give your customer more proof that the product is well sold. You can add the gallery images and you can have a lot of other stuff. For the moment, I will just keep this description. On the gallery again, you have images from the gallery. You can have images from reviews and from variations. So I will not include them right now, but you can do it whenever you want. I will try to include them, but the problem is that there are a lot of pictures, so I need to remove some of them. Otherwise, the import process will be very slow. So I will remove a couple of them. And I will keep only a few images. So I think there are more than 90 images already 
imported so to remove all of them and I think it should take some time so I'll just keep these things here you can also modify images for example you can get this one and click on edit image this is very useful very useful feature I will just create a video to show how to use this feature properly so you can do a lot of things you can remove some background you can add some text for example if you add to add your shop name just choose the font the colors we validate apply text you can add your logo here you can add effects you can add borders you can draw things you can do a lot and a lot of stuff for this video I will not go into details, but I will create another video to show you how to use all of this feature of this Lunapic website. I click on save image and the image will be here available on my list of images. If I modify a picture here, for example, I can also include it on the description by clicking on include add gallery image to description. This can be very useful as well. I go now to reviews and I see that I have many reviews that have been imported already. So the customer the person who write the review, so I can change the name, Mike, for example, and I can change lots of things here, I can add some tags, add the color of the tag. Yes. This will give better visibility of this review, and you can also increase your SEO of your product page. So you, have, you can see that we have some reviews with some images, with some kind of zoom, if user want to see the detail of the picture. If you want to import more reviews, you go to the end and you click load more reviews. So by clicking on this button here, you come here and you can select any reviews you want. So I will select three reviews and I will click on import reviews. And this review should be available here. You can add also single review yourself. So test, test, and that's all. Now you go to the additional details. And here you can add anything you want, for example, shop name and my shop. This the details that will be displayed on the additional data, so in this section here. Back again here, and then product tags. So this is the tags that you will see on this section here. So for tags, we have a feature that can allow to add specific tags, like for example, text. Or you can generate tags from the title, which is also very good. So you click on this, and you have the title that is split it into keywords, and you can remove the one that you don't like, for example, test, and you keep the rest. Once you have done all of this, you can click on import to shop and the product should be available on your shop again you can have different variation of the product by even just by changing the SKU in order not to have a duplication which is the idea of the product once this is imported let's wait this so this is take long time because we have a lot of images okay product inserted successfully I go again here I refresh my list of product and I see the product here let's see if the customization is working fine so I click here and we have all the details so the price the sale price the title with our test the images with the shop name the description that we have specified here you see the description the additional details the reviews and then if you click on buy you will be redirected to the Amazon product page if the user buy this product you will get your commission associated to this affiliate ID thank you for watching this video and see you on the next video